Hey everyone, I've got a book review for you today. It came out, I think, this last week, and it is Leia, Princess of Alderaan by Claudia Gray. I picked it up on Thursday, and I was able to plow through it in about two days, which is good, because I have a husband and two kids. <laughs> Overall, this book was great. I really, really love Claudia Gray's writing style. She's a very visual writer, so all the, the planets and the situations she was describing, I could just very easily picture in my head. So. Part of it too is the descriptions of Alderaan, which were phenomenal to me. We don't really see too much of Leia's home planet in the movies. I mean, we see a tiny bit of it at the end of Attack of the Clones, um, where um, Bale brings her back to Bria as an infant, and that's all we really see. Um, so to hear a little bit more history about this planet, to hear how beautiful it is, um, was great to hear in a book. Um, I, I really wish we saw more of it in the films. Um, another part of this book I really enjoyed was the love story between Bale and um, Bria. Um, they were in love. I liked the fact that it wasn't just a marriage of convenience and oh, we just married and we're king and queen and we coexist and we get along really well. She could have gone that route, but I love the fact that they actually really do love each other. So that came across great in the books, which I really, really liked. All right, and another cool thing that was in there, at Harloff Minor. <laughs> It's pretty cool that that was another mention that Claudia did, so that's awesome, Christian. <laughs> if you don't know anything about that, uh, check out Kaleido Jedi Council. Um, one of the members there actually had a planet named after him, which is pretty cool. All right, um, another thing I thought was pretty interesting was throughout the story, you hear that Leia has such a huge love for her planet and her people, even though she wasn't born there. She was adopted, and she knows that. Um, and what I find is really interesting is she'll do anything to protect her people and to keep them free um, and also fight for others. But one thing that struck me as really interesting is when Alderaan is blown up in A New Hope, um, she does not really show a ton of emotional duress. And one, it's like, okay, I don't know why, where that performance came from and why she was directed that way, Carrie Fisher was, but part of me thinks, okay, Leia just did not want to give Tarkin the satisfaction of knowing that he just totally ripped her heart out and she's going to do everything she can to let him know you did not get to me. Um, and Tarkin was in this book quite a bit, which I thought was a great story plot point. Um, you see the relationship he has with the Organa family and the manipulation he's doing behind the scenes on um, taking control of planets and you know, raising taxes, and that was really, really fascinating. I loved that that part was in there. Um, but anyways, I did think it was interesting that she was just like, nope, I'm not gonna give you the satisfaction. That's what I'm thinking in my mind, her reaction was, because she'll do anything for her planet and her people, and for her not to even shed a tear, um, at least on screen, that was just a little shocking to me. Um, but hey, it's the originals, you get what you get. You know, they're great, they're fantastic, but that just struck me as a little odd that that scene was directed and acted that way. Um, another thing that was really cool was, um, um, she goes to Naboo, their mining planet. It's a moon called Onam, I think, and Moff Panakanakis, I think that's how you say his name, um, he was in Attack of the Clones. Um, or the Clone Wars, um, but it was interesting to see that he recognized Leia and he was starting to put the pieces together because he was part of Queen Amidala's Royal Guard. And the fact that he recognized Leia and was starting to put all the puzzle pieces together, that was really interesting to me. I was like, oh no, is he really working for the Empire? Or does he still have in his heart, is he still a good guy? Um, and then it was shocking to see him killed right away. I guess it would kind of have to go that way. But that was a really cool little thing. Um, another thing I found interesting is Leia's going, throughout this book, she's going through her training to prove that she's worthy of being um, the Princess of Alderaan. And they train on different planets. And it's like every day she's on a new planet. And oh, I got to run over here and get this one. It's like the equivalent of us running to the grocery store. I, I just got to go to the corner and grab something. Like, oh, I'm just going to go to this planet over here. I thought that was just really... Maybe, I mean, I know it happened in all the movies and stuff, but just in this book of every day they're on a different planet, it's just, it's just normal to them. That was just kind of funny to me. Um, there was a line that Mon Mothma said, I wrote it down. It says, um, she's referring to Tarkin and how he is very, a very good manipulator. And she tells Leia in a conversation, I've been tripped up by his uh, machinations before. And that just struck me right there. I stopped reading. I was like, 
well, go elaborate, go into it more. And it makes me want an origin story for Mon Mothma. Like, what did she do behind the scenes with all of this? And I think we're probably getting that with Bail Organa's story a little bit. They're probably very similar, but and this is a woman that can just keep her cool and she's very smart. I would love to read a book about her for sure. Um, and there was a really great scene in the book where Leia has to use the force. She's, she's mountain climbing or rock climbing with um, a friend of hers and she physically uses the force in a jump or something like to save both of them. And that made me really wonder because you don't really see her physically use the force to move objects. You can see her sense it in her mind. But part of me just really wonders, wow, if Leia had had the chance to be completely trained as a Jedi, man, how powerful would she have been? Um, that would have been pretty cool because you really don't see Luke in the little tiny snippet before he meets Obi-Wan. You really don't see Luke using the Force at all. And maybe there's backstories that tell of him being able to sense the Force at a young age, but this book was full of Leia sensing the Force. Um, so I'm wondering in some ways if she would have been more powerful than Luke had she had been trained from a young age in secret. And I, you know, part of me kind of wonders that. Why didn't Bail Organa, he obviously knew her parentage and who her parents were. Why didn't he very, very secretly, of course, train her in the ways of the forest? That you think that would have made her a better leader, um, more in tune to the dark side and to bringing down the empire and Tarkin. Um, yeah, it was just interesting. Um, and there is a bit of a love story in this as well. Leia is 16. Um, she meets this boy she's training with. His name is Kier. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I found his character interesting. Part of me wondered throughout the whole book if he was a spy of some sort. Um, I kind of believe their love story. I mean, when you're 16, you're kind of just clueless anyway. But, um, yeah, I believed that she really loved him. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into any spoilers as to what happens, but needless to say, I enjoyed that part of the story as well. And she also has a really quirky friend that is by her side um, in and out through the book. And a friend of mine pointed it out to me on the Collider Jedi Council fan page that this character is in The Last Jedi and it's being played by Laura Dern. And the character's name is Amelyn Haldo, Haldo. Haldo, I think that's how you pronounce her name. But... Emmeline, that's a really pretty name. Um, but yeah, so I can't wait to see the relationship with Emmeline and Leia in The Last Jedi because we've gotten the origin story of their relationship and how they became really, really good friends. Um, that was pretty cool. So overall, this book was great. Um, I love the backstory and all the little, little details we got. Uh, so I'm going to give this book a 7.8 out of 10. Uh, if you haven't read it, I really encourage you to read it. Um, and if you also have not read Lost Stars yet, I haven't done a review for that book yet, but I'll have to do that because that book is phenomenal. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. Chime in in the comments. Tell me what you think of the Leia book by Claudia Gray. Um, all right. I was going to say if there's a trailer, it would be cool if they did book trailers. I know there's book trailers for other novels and stuff that I've seen out there. So, Claudia Gray, it would be great if we got book trailers too. So, all right. Thank you so much for watching. If you like watching movie reviews, trailer reactions, and of course, Star Wars content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.